Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but it would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks. We've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. It's the least I could do. I'm giving that to you, so don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the Magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked Magistrate here too. There was no Magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Nordapolica of late. It seems they may have already gone into arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrale is there, but... Thank you very much for your business. Wait! But... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. We filled up our water. I think we're ready to go. Right. Bad boys and girls that break curfew must be punished by the Magistrate. No way! We're going to look for Mommy and Daddy! Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger! Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the Magistrate on their behalf. Hey... Wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies. Do you think that maybe I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Alf. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. But what do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, hey, bro, are we going to go look for Mommy and Daddy? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. <laughs> Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this, because you're so nice. A 
A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. Yuri, what's the matter? I was just thinking about what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it makes sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the Princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right. We can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All right, let's go. There's no shade anywhere. I never imagined it would be this hot. Nobody lasts long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey, old man. Aren't you hot? Hot? Uh, heck yeah. Uh, I'm sizzling over here. Uh, burning right up. That lousy... I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be alright if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Estelle! Okay then, let's find their parents. Was that Pharaoh? Then he really is somewhere in the desert! Settle down. You'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those kids. Let's fill up our water here. But this is... Ow! Ouch! What an idiot! Use your head a little! Looks like this situation calls for a little extra help. Hmm? Canteen filling time! Me next! We need to make sure to keep hydrated. Right. We wouldn't want to get sunstroke. If everyone's finished, let's go. Better stop plodding along like a zombie, or you'll only make yourself more tired. How are you in such good spirits? Some people take pleasure in the suffering of others. Why, I oughta. Don't waste your energy. That sort of happiness simply isn't healthy. Hey, did you hear a voice? No, not at all. By the way, why were you in this desert before? I used to live in a town up in the mountains to the north of here, together with my friend Ba'ul. So, I sometimes came down near the desert. All the way to the desert? Anyway, we hardly have time to look for anything out here. What with this heat? Seriously, if we run out of water, we'll be goners. We need to find something like a clue soon. Yes. Ah, oh, I'm out of water. Don't go drinking all of it. Thanks.
Thanks, Yuri! Hey, do you think we could take five? And you say I'm the one always wanting to rest. Yeah! <laughs> huh? The heat's gone and baked his brains. Water! Oh, Carol, be careful! You'll hurt yourself if you fall! <laughs> Looks like he still had plenty of energy. Wait up for old Raven! And here I thought they couldn't bear to go another step. Oh, I think I'm in heaven! I thought we were really done for! Hey now, you gotta be tougher than that if you're gonna save the world, kids. Shut up! It'll be dangerous if we just keep going like this. If we turn back now, though, we'll only disappoint those poor children. We've got to keep looking as long as we can. If we're lucky, we may even find Pharaoh along the way. That's right. And with this spring, we shouldn't have any trouble keeping up the search. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. Yeah, you're right. We've come this far. How about your water bottle, Carol? Did you fill it up? Here. I filled them for you. Here's yours, Rita. Thanks, Judith! Thanks. Everybody else all set? Yes. All right, let's keep moving. What the...? What are you doing, old man? Uh, you see, I was thinking that there's a pretty odd creature over there. Huh? What is that? Ah! It's Yuri! I thought I was gonna have a heart attack there. That's my line. They don't tell me you're searching for treasure in the sand. Quite so. What's this? A treasure that I freed hid. This chest? I'm surprised you were able to find treasure in the sand. An adventurer's intuition is even sharper than the right side of a dolphin's brain. Intuition? How unscientific. Oh, but you can't make light of intuition. Seriously? Is that the treasure you're looking for? Nah, this is just rubbish. Besides, finding treasure isn't my goal. It's recovering your memory, isn't it? I... And in order to do that, I need to find me grandfather's treasure, the Maristella. Yeah? You still haven't recovered your memory yet? Hmm. Unfortunately, no. But my journey's only just beginning. She sure recovers quickly. I like that about her. Really? I'm like that too, you know? Hey, if we keep chatting out here, we're gonna keel over. Definitely. Patty, why don't you come with us, too? Hmm, but I need to keep hunting for treasure. Shut up and just come with us, all right? Look, up ahead! Let's go. Uh, are you okay? Oh, uh, uh, it's... It's you. Do you feel better now? Oh, uh, my wife. Where's my wife? Do you mean this woman? She's right here. Please, hold still. Oh, water. Oh, oh, I can feel the life coming back into me. Oh, that really hit the spot. Thank you so much. We're alive, thanks to you. You're our saviors. Please, it's nothing. We'll have time to relax once we get you back alive. What's the problem? 
things will work themselves out. You're pretty crazy to say that in a situation like this. I'd like to thank you for saving us, but I'm afraid I don't have anything with me that I could give you. Oh, please, we don't need anything like that. No, th that simply won't do. Please, come to Mantake so that I can pay you back for what you've done. Mantake? Wait, are you the parents of Alf and Layla? Y yes, yes we are. Did you see our children back in Mantake? Yes, we met them there. They were worried about their mom and dad. They were even going to come out into the desert to look for you. Oh, this is terrible. We have to go back to them. Don't be so hasty. Do you think you two can go back by yourselves? Well, we... Uh, uh, that is... <sighs> no, I guess we can't. Then just calm down for now. Hi, that's right. Just lie down and relax a bit. Patty, I think that's taking it a little too far. A bird? In this desert? It sounds close. Sounds like it came from just up ahead. So we'll get to meet him. It's about time. I was about to shrivel up in this heat. You two come too. Yes. Make sure to keep a safe distance. You'll want to be out of the way in case a fight breaks out. Yes, okay. Something isn't right. Be on your guard. That's not Pharaoh! Yeah, there's something different about that voice. not a monster. If it's not a monster, what the hell is it? <clears throat> Even Rapide's frightened. This can't be good. Let's get out of here! It's coming this way! Damn. Looks like we have no choice. Out of the way, you two! What is this thing? I don't want to deal with it if we don't have to. Come on, guys. Fight! I guess we have no choice. I guess we got it, but... Oh, I'm so tired. Come on, snap out of it. It vanished. What's this? Uh, I can't go on. Rita, Carol... More simmering, dizzying heat, and grilling mollusks. I'm afraid even I can't take any more. This isn't good. What? Town? That dragon from the Weasand of Kados. <laughs> Go ahead. Hope you choke on my bones. in the desert. 
And this can't be heaven. Where are we? Good morning. Don't you want a morning kiss? Oh, Yuri. Are you feeling better now? Yeah. How about you guys? Are you alright? Yes, it would seem that way. We all collapsed in the desert, right? So what are we doing in this town? Seems like someone came to our aid. Though we're not sure who. I wonder what kind of praiseworthy fellow could cross such a toasty desert and save so many people. We need to find whoever it was and thank them. What about the couple who was with us? They appear to have been brought here as well. So they didn't get a look at our rescuers either? Apparently they lost consciousness like the rest of us. I believe the two of them are having a look around town. I wonder, was it just a mirage? What do you mean? Oh, just before I blacked out, I saw that dragon that got the air under control back at Kados. Really? Yeah. Didn't you see it, Estelle? No, I didn't see anything. And that monster must have saved us or something. A monster saved us? I can't believe that. Was it just a mirage then? So what's the story? Where exactly are we? A kindly gentleman is looking into that very matter for us. Kindly gentle? Oh, you mean the old man. There's no barrier here. This town is weird. I thought the mountains in the east were supposed to be uninhabited. Rita, Carol, over here. What's that? The monster that attacked us in the desert dropped it. I didn't see any feathers on that thing. That's one of Pharaoh's feathers. But why would that monster have one of Pharaoh's feathers? Hmm. Man, there's so much we don't know. Welcome back. And just why was it up to me to go tromping off on a recon mission? If I'd gone, this sweet young lady would have been all alone with you. That's far too unsafe. Unsafe? You can't possibly mean me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm gonna gag. Suppose I don't mind people thinking I'm dangerous. Adds to my mysterious charm. It seems we're in Jormgen. You know, that town from the diary on the ghost ship. Wait, this is Jormgen? The town that needed the clear seal crystal to protect itself from monsters? It makes sense. They don't have a barrier here. That must be why they were searching for a way to drive away the monsters. But that was a thousand years ago. Yeah, and I find it strange that they were getting by at all without a barrier. You're right. Aye. What if we were to show this case to one of the locals and ask them? Yes, we might learn something about Pharaoh that way as well. I agree. something about this box? Launchy had it. Where did you get it? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. Have you heard of it? Of course. You know about the Atherum too? Y yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. Your love, damn it. Hey, Carol, your turn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, 
My name is Yuafan. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. Is that what's in the box? Yes, we came to deliver this box to you. I, I see. Hey, is that the key? Could I have the box? Wow, is this the clear seal crystal? Looks like it. It's so sparkly and glittery. A treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? Uh... But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emid Hill in Ker Bakram. But I don't think that Sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. But the Sage said that the Clear CL Crystal was needed to create the barrier. So Long Chi set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, this sounds weird. Yeah, the stories don't match up. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself, but who really knows? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? Oh, yes, he lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the Sage. Yes, maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the Clear Seal Crystal to the Sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go! Excuse me. Huh? Hey, that's... You're... Who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You? How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? We're a little curious about this. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blast you, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blast you. Who would even consider building a barrier blast here with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. So this is an apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! <laughs> It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Mock! Oh man, just when I found one. 
The Apatheia bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? Is that really all you did just now? There's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apatheia, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. You mean... me? This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon? Like in the legend? By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a child of the full moon? What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the Child of the Full Moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait, there's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Erkrene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? Those matters exceed your comprehension. Do not ask of them again. Go. I have nothing more to say. Where do you get off? Rita. Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Brave Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light you are named Child of the Full Moon. Your brother, Brave Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there like a hidden meaning in there? I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean like becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you, too, old man. Rita can explain it to you later. Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals, apatheia, all kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. 
I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. We can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apathea myself. If we're going back into the desert, we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay then, we'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. I have nothing left to say to you. <clears throat> Gonna follow him? What's the point? He's not gonna talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apathea? When the air crane went berserk, Regay, I mean Jaeger, was carrying this box. This box was what messed up my magic. You think the Apathea is what's causing the air crane to go out of control? Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was Apathea nearby? And the Air Crane and Cave Mach too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apathea has been damaging the whole world's Air Crane little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess. But it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you gonna do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. Hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. What? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, I ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. If I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? In that case, we'd collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. Oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. No problem! We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best. But would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? No guilds, no empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Yeah, but even so, I prefer Dongrest. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Brave Vesperia's own city. Yeah, I like that idea. 
Well, either way, we've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah. Now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongris, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. You're always out walking around, aren't you? Yes, I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Ba'ul all the time. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. Yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No, must be your imagination. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all? But I learned about some very important things. The Child of the Full Moon, and the Angelicaea. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Entelikea, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri... Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <sighs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. Would you like a skewer? Is it any good? grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not, but I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. I, but... You're used to it, huh? I, I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Crying gets you nowhere, was it? But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily gonna listen. More patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Oh yeah? But your info broker turned his back on you too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. 
Mmm. This is good. Didn't I tell ya? Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! Bellius? Yeah! Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there. You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantake. That's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? Y yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Entelikea and the Colosseum? I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Entelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Right. First let's get back to Mantake. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month.